Hey guys, it's Jamie from WiredWorks, and today we're going to talk Sonos. So whether you've just bought your system from us or you're considering buying a Sonos system, I want to show you how it works through the app. Take a look at this. All right, so now that we've got our phone open, we're going to download the Sonos app. You're going to want to use the sand colored app. So as we open it up, I'm connected to my system here at the house. So one of the things you want to look at is the buttons down here at the bottom. This is going to be your favorites. Uh, you can add different stuff. Obviously, you can see I have stuff for my children here. This is going to be the music button. This is where all of your streaming services are going to live. This next one is kind of a digital house. So as we touch that, this is going to give you all the rooms. So in my house, you can see I've got bathroom. I've got a couple speakers in the family room, my kids' room, and I've got rock speakers outside. Now, the search button, when you click that, is going to be a way for you to search all of the music streaming services that you have in here. And then you've got a settings button, of course, over here. And this is where your account information, your system, uh, all your music and streaming information lives in there. So the button that you're going to use the most is going to be the basically the house button. So the house button takes you into your system. So as you can see, when I highlight each room, it changes colors. So you know I'm in that room. So for instance, let's say I want to go, this is a master bathroom speaker. It's going to say it was on Pandora and there's no music that was playing. So I'm going to go to music and pick some new music. So let's go to, let's just go to Pandora for fun. We'll go into my stations and you can see all of the music that we've listened to in the last date. So let's click some Kane Brown. Now, once I click that, you'll notice right here in the shadow box, it's going to show you what's on. So if I touch that, it's going to open right up. Now from here, I can turn the volume down. I can pause the music. I can even skip songs. And if I hit the home button, it's going to show me what's playing in the bathroom. It's also going to show me what's playing in the family room. So currently, somebody's in the family room playing music. So you can see I've got the Pandora logo here, playing stick figure. And see the little bars right here? We've got some music bars. These bars are showing me that something's playing. Now if I click in here and hit play, you'll start to see the timer up here. Now when I go back, you're going to see I have music bars on this side, as well as the music bars in the family room. And you can do this for each individual zone. So if I want to play some music outside, I'll click that. And I'll go to music. I'm going to go one more time to go home. And let's say I want to do Spotify this time. So let's pick, sure, Tropical Beats, play. And you'll see it's starting to play. Now when I hit the music, you're going to see I have music playing in the rock speakers, as well as bathroom and family room. Now let's say you want to group one room to another. So if we want to group the family room, see this little square icon up here with the arrow? If we touch that, it's going to group the song and the basically album from Pandora that's playing here through any other room that I want in the house. So let's say I just want to go to the bathroom and I hit done. And it's going to say, which one do you want to group? I want to group this one, which is what the family room was playing. So now, see the room? Family room and bathroom are now together. So when I touch that, it's going to show up down here. And when I touch that, I've got volumes. When I touch, I've got family room, bathroom, and a group volume. So I can raise it like this, raise it like this. I can just swipe down or hit the rooms to go back. So you basically go through a series of picking which room and grouping those rooms together. Now, if you have a song, for instance, this song that's playing, Sunshine by Powers. See these three little dots right here? If I click it, it's going to pop up and say, Add Station to My Sonos. If I click that, 
going to show you the hipster barbecue radio is added. So your favorites lie right here on the far left. So if I hit this star, you're going to see albums and here's Pandora stations. So that was hipster barbecue radio. It even shows the date last playing, which is today. Um, I have other playlists um, that my kids like and child likes. Now, search button. Let's say I want to listen to uh, Kenny Chesney. I make sure it's on artist. And there we go. So it's going to search every single um, streaming station that I have here. Meaning I have Amazon, I have Apple, Pandora, Spotify, YouTube. So anything with Kenny Chesney, I can go through and pick. So I could pick this through Amazon and it will give me a list of the top songs or I can dive into Kenny's actual albums. And as soon as I do that, you'll see the whole album there. So I could just hit play. And there you go. You're going to see the family room and bathroom change to Kenny Chesney. And when I touch that. All the album art pops up. And again, I'm still in both those rooms, so I'll volume both those up. Now, let's say you want to ungroup those rooms. Well, if you hit the home button, the same button that we pushed the first time, this little square with the arrow, we're going to touch it. And we're going to ungroup the bathroom and hit done. Now, as soon as I do that, you're going to see these two rooms break out, bathroom and family room, separately. And at any point, you can group any room with any other zone. So if family room has TV listening in there, let's say you have a football game and you want to play it through the rest of the house, you're just going to click the family room. And then you're going to click the button that says everywhere. And it'll highlight all of those and you'll hit done. I'm going to check off that since I don't want to do that. The last button I want to talk about is the settings button. So this is where a lot of the music preferences live as well as the streaming services and uh, adjusting the the volume in different uh, speakers so that could be the rear surrounds or the subwoofer so when i hit the system button it's going to take me into each individual room and you'll see the room name and then the speaker that's in there so you'll see play one play five arc these are all sonos speaker names so let's go into the family room so if I hit that, I have an arc, and you see the plus sub, which means I have a subwoofer. So I can go into the EQ, and I can change the bass and the treble. Now that's going to be coming out of the arc soundbar. If I go back, I can go to sub audio. This is where I can volume up and down the actual subwoofer to see how loud we want it. I've got it right in the middle, which works pretty well. Uh, there's a couple things in here for autoplay. I have this turned on, meaning if we're playing music in the family room and the TV turns on, as soon as it turns on, the TV is going to play through this the uh, ARC soundbar. And ungroup autoplay is on, meaning if the family room was grouped to, say, the rock speakers or any of the other zones in the house, it's going to ungroup from those zones and play just the TV audio through there. The rest of these are more during setup. So if you wanted to use the infrared or IR repeater, we can go in there and do that. Then we have a few other things. Uh, if we want to set up Amazon Alexa, uh, you can also change the voice assistant. So you can switch to Google if you want to do that. I'm going to keep Amazon in this room. Um, a couple other things, the sound bar and most of the speakers have touch controls, so you can turn those on or off. And there's a status light. Uh, we can also turn that on and off. And that's for each room. So this would be done kind of everything with the family room. Then we click off of that. We could go into individual speakers. So say my kid's room. I've got an EQ for that room as well, so I can adjust bass and treble. And then I've also got Looks like the same stuff. So we're gonna to to do status light and touch controls. So this is a quick tutorial of the Sonos app. It's pretty intuitive. Just remember, for the most part, you're just picking rooms, music. That's it. 
And if you touch the music again, it goes back home. But you know, one thing I forgot to tell you, if you hit the settings, you can also go in to um, services. This is where you would actually add music and content. So say you want another one of these streams in here, we're gonna click add service. Sonos has over a hundred streams of service. So you can scroll through anything that they have. As soon as you want one of these, you touch it and you click add to Sonos and it's just gonna prompt you. I have an account and if you click that, it's just gonna ask you, um, this one's gonna say use the following code. Others are gonna prompt you with an actual email and password and then it will add it straight to your streaming services. Um, pretty simple. Thanks for looking at the Sonos. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you like it, check out some of our other videos. Thanks so much.